Welcome back to Lessons Learned. I'm Sherry, and this is Finish It Friday, where we see what I, what I have finished and what you finished. And I've been, I won't say spinning my wheels, but I've been kind of stuck on a couple of things this week, but I have been working pretty hard at stuff. Um, since you're probably wondering about this, we'll go ahead and talk about this. Now, this is my haberdashery slash Millie's Dresses fusion quilt. And I am in the process of, well, by the way, as you already know, I got all my hats done. This week, I got all my dresses done. I made 12 instead of 16. This is what the pattern is. It is of 16. I'm only choosing to do 12 since I have 12 hats. And here are my dresses. I love this one. Isn't that pretty? Let's just look at them. They're so pretty. We should look at them. There's a red, kind of corally red one. I like this one too. I like that print really well. It came in green, this color. It came in a yellow. Yeah, that was yellow. Green, yellow, and then there's a light one. Do I have a light one? This one. Yeah, those three prints I really liked. Here's another teal one. And I strategically placed the flower there on the belt or the waistband. And then here's a peach and navy one. So as I made these, I got a little more fond of them once the sleeves were the worst because you have three stitch and flips on them and they're all different sizes. You know, you have to think when you're doing it. It's not mindless. You have to think. So as I went along, though, the, the structure putting them together was not as bad after the first couple. So I was able to iron out my difficulties with that. Um, so here's what I've done. I have 12 of these, right? So I'm going to have three rows of four. And then I'm going to have two rows of six dresses. So this is what I have invented. This is all one piece now. And then that's going to get repeated. We'll have another section of this and then hats, dresses, another section of this, and then hats on the bottom. And it'll be pretty big. It'll be, I think by the time we get the outer border on, it'll be around 80-ish or a little bit over lengthwise. It's 63 across. So it's a decent size quilt. It's not ridiculously big, but it's a normal size quilt. So, um, I hope you like this. I kind of was doing like a, you know, a big stitch look with my scraps. And I think that came out good. So I'm going to get the measurements together of how I did that. And also the measurements of the sashing that I did here in between here. And then I ended up having to put on the end of each of these rows a different size to get it to come out. So quilt math, you know, quilt math is not fun and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not great at it, but I finally got it to come out. So this is 63 wide. So I need to repeat this. Uh, well, I need to do this here and then hats, this again, then dresses. Anyway, there's four of these. There's four of these big sections here. So, yeah, I'll get those. I'll get those together for you in case you want to do a similar thing. Now, I am planning on doing the border that they recommend for it. Uh, let's see. It looks like, well, I'll show you this faded looking page. My ink was running out. But see that outer border that's colored and all those different, they're kind of a, a rounded square shape, I guess. I'm still going to do that around it. So 
once I get this part finished, I'm going to still go around again with another little narrow piece here because this color comes all the way to the edge on both sides. I'm going to put another little border of the background here and all the way around and then go with the, the colored border from the Millie's dresses. So here's, well I can't show you that, it's got a lot of measurements on it. So that's what, that's what's going to happen. But I think it's going to turn out cute doing this. And I'm going to rename the quilt. I'm going to it, call it Hazel's Hat because the hat is basically the same hat, right? I mean, I've moved around the, the, the fabric some on the hats, but it's basically the same hat. And her hat goes with all of her dresses. So no matter which dress she picks out of the closet, the hat's going to go. So I'm calling it Hazel's Hat. <laughs> But if you want to make this quilt, I'm not redoing this. This is not my pattern. Neither one of these. These are Lori Holt's patterns. And I'm not, I'm not going to give any measurements to anyone about those. You have to buy those. Or, in the case of the hats, you have to be a uh, So Sampler subscriber. So Sampler box from Fat Quarter Shop to get that pattern. And you'll have to go back and get that that particular box to get haberdashery so any of you sew sampler people that get the box already and you want to do this ma this mashup this fusion quilt I'll give you my sashing uh, requirements on that and and measurements on that so you can recreate it if you want and then make sure if you're going to do that Make sure you're, you've got plenty of background because you're going to need it. I have four, I ordered four yards. And that's more than I normally would order because I didn't know how much I was going to need. But I feel like I'm going to be okay with what I have. So four yards should do it. If you're just using a, a plain white or a plain cream that you always use in stuff, you know, you, you've probably got it on hand. You've got plenty on hand. But I wouldn't take a two yard or three yard or even a three and a half yard piece of background and think, oh, that's probably going to be enough. It might not. I don't know. It might. I'll tell you eventually. Probably Monday. I'll probably have this quilt done by Monday Quilt Chat. And I will tell you what I have left out of my four yards. And I have plenty still from my fat quarter bundle to do that that border that other border I just used scrap these right here are just scraps from these dresses and hats so I was able to get those from all of my scraps but I still have tons of this so I'm going to do the border see what I have left and maybe incorporate whatever's left out of that into the backing I don't know I'd like to uh have a few little scraps left from it, but I have a feeling I'm going to have quite a few. I don't know. But anyway, I'll have to resize that too. This is for a Millie's dresses is 58 and a half by 70 and a half. Mine's probably going to be, probably by the time it's done, it's going to be 65 wide by 70 something. So I will have to resize the border the colored border so if you're interested in how I do that I will be letting you know what I do so that's what I've been working on mostly this week really uh, I also made myself work on happy days border and I have one side done out of four except for the corners quilt is going to be humongous humongous let's see how wide this is this is ten and a half inches tall so that's going to add another almost 20 inches to that big old quilt all the way around so it's a monster it is a monster and this I thought would go together pretty quick and it did go together really nicely I didn't have any trouble 
with the bias edges everything matched up really really good and yeah but you do have to you know I take my time on this kind of stuff and it it takes time and doing one of these in a session of sewing is about all I can handle plus I still had to do the four corner stones which have applique will I get it done <laughs> will I get it done next week I don't know that was the goal wasn't it what is next not this coming but next Sunday is the 31st so I don't know we'll see I'll, I'll try I'll be close if I don't get it done so what else have I worked on oh yes Wednesday's video if you didn't see Wednesday's video I have started a charity project uh, with the Humane Society and you need to go back and watch that and you can send in your blocks like this to be included in the quilt that will be auctioned and then once we get proceeds from that auction, we will donate those funds to the Humane Society. I'll give you more and more um, information on that as we go. And some of you have already been showing your blocks on Facebook and uh, sending them in already. So probably in the next, probably Monday or Tuesday, I'll, I'll be getting some in the mail. Can't wait. So if you want to participate in that and you have some batik in your stash, or you want to purchase a couple of fat quarters for that quilt send it on over you can make your little block up it takes about five minutes to make it send it in and we'll we'll get going on this charity quilt blues boutique charity quilt so we'll think up a catchy name for our for our charity uh, project that we're going to start doing now. I'm glad I got that underway. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to this week's Wednesday video. Check it out. If you have any questions, send me questions in the comment section or in the email, whatever. Uh, I am, as I said in the video, I am kind of working on this, kind of ironing out the details as we go, but it's the first time I've ever done it. So yeah, I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll make it happen. I think that's all I've done this week yeah I think that's all I've done oh I took in a, a commission job it's it's a uh, one person came with several projects for me to do uh, some of it is applique on uh, a jeans romper and a headband a quilted headband uh, and a little jacket she wants me to make so I've got time I've got time to do that I've just kind of been fitting little pieces of that in as I as I go oh and some pants to him yes some hemming pants so <laughs> it just kind of came with the whole job so I'll talk to you about that more later especially the the applique because it involves a vintage quilt that's um, kind of ripped up and that's what we're going to applique onto this jeans jeans romper. So uh, I'll show you that when I start working on it. Okay, let's go to the email and see what you have sent in this week. All of you lovely quilters out there have been busy in your sewing rooms bringing your fabrics to life let's see what we got here Teresa has a very cool project here it's a scrappy one she says I've been working on this for almost 30 years and it's finally a finish had lots of help from my oldest grandson so the blocks didn't line up perfectly but love it for the great memories yes Teresa, awesome that you included your grandson. Look at this. It's a string quilt. Beautiful. Fabrics from three decades, no doubt. I love the how you positioned your black border to kind of enclose the, the on-point uh, blocks there. And then your piano key border is awesome. 
Love it. Love it. Love it. Congratulations for getting that done. Pam. Pam says she's been following uh, this, this channel since I started. Thank you, Pam. And she likes it. The name of this quilt is Totality. That's appropriate. It is a mashup of a number of techniques. I made the center block after experiencing the total solar eclipse in Madras, Oregon in August of 2017. We were surrounded by mountains which appeared gray in the distance. It was an awesome experience. I held onto the block and then I saw a video from Tracy at the Sewing Channel where she took a block and used this technique to enlarge it into a quilt. I later saw your video where you made the mountain blocks. It inspired me to create this quilt from that original block. It is a queen size bed quilt, all pieced and quilted on my vintage Singer 301. The back is an astronomy print fabric. And she says, thanks for the inspiration. Yes, 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 your pictures are great. Yes, Pam from the San Francisco Bay Area. This is awesome. This is very much an art quilt. Not only uh, something you can use on your bed and looks lovely on a bed, it is an art quilt, what you have done. And here we are around to another eclipse. So I hope you get to see it. I don't know if it'll be in your area or not, but we are going camping in a nearby town. Not nearby, it's probably an hour and a half from here, but it's the, the path of totality is it going through Indiana so we are going to take our camper and camp out for a, for a couple night two or three nights and also catch the eclipse if we can um, Mark's been working on his uh, equipment to be able to uh, capture some photos some really good photos of it uh, hopefully that'll work out um, we'll see I'll share that with you if I can once that's over with. That's coming up pretty soon. And then we also have one from Sundyed Carol. And she's calling this a rainbow circle of life. It's 72 by 83. And she used the Quilt in a Day wedding rings templates and the Nouveau wedding ring pattern. And she said she quilted each block with a filled orange pill design and a wavy line for all the colored curved rings. It wasn't hard, but the piecing, applique, and quilting were very time consuming. I did not add a border, but the edges of the quilt came out wavy. I don't know why that happened because I never had a quilt with wavy binding before. I'm very, very disappointed in the way it came out. Will I ever make another one? No. <laughs> That happens sometimes. I don't know. I don't I don't know what causes that uh, Once in a while I'll get that too But I love your quilt. I love it's kind of a modern version of uh, a double wedding ring It's really cool and of course the sun dyed fabrics and how you faded the colors across looks great as usual You always do a great job with that Carol Sorry about that. I had to change position because my battery was dying and my cord for my phone would not quite reach where I had it. <laughs> so it's okay. Uh, let's see. Victoria. Chris and Victoria. Oh, this is cool. You inspired me to use my fabric stash and create a quilt. I started with two jelly rolls. Then added some applique and tried out a decorative stitch on the applique. I loved working with fabrics I already owned and felt quite creative as I sewed this together. I have decided to give this to my sister for her birthday. Thank you for all that you do and the inspiration that you give to our sewing community. Well, I feel quite proud of myself if I inspired you to do that. That's, that's awesome. I love your big giant flower. And I, I'm assuming it's the um, the batik video that I had a couple years ago that that inspired you. Maybe I love your meander on there. It looks great. And of course, I always love these bright yellow greens or yellowy greens with blue. They look really good. There's some teal in there too. I love it. I love your big borders around there too. This is really cool. You should be proud of yourself too because 
That's an awesome piece of art. It really is. We've just got some really artistic, creative people this week. As usual, all of you are. And then let's see what else. Uh, I think that might be it. It looks like it might be. If I've, if I've missed you, send me a note or something. Let me know. But I think that's all I... I knew I didn't have as many as I normally do um, this week. But boy, did we have some great ones. So thank you for sending everything in. Uh, we truly enjoy these uh, little quilt parades, uh, quilt shows that we have every week on Friday. If you ever want to send in one of your photos, uh, just check out the guidelines in the description box and be sure to follow those. Uh, send me a couple of good photos of it and a short description of, of what it was. Um, you know, if you have any little story about it or whatever, uh, we always like to hear that too, the details of it. So, uh, well, it's, uh, another week gone. I don't know where it went to. It, it seems like every week lately has just flown by. I don't know what it is, but, uh, here we are up on the weekend again. I have a class this week and on Saturday, all day class at the uh, local quilt store and it's going to be a foundation paper piecing class by uh, a moda designer a moda fabric designer so um, i'm going to be doing that i'll let you know about that on monday so come back on monday but in the meantime have a great weekend get something out to sew get your ufos out or if you've got some things going on spend a little bit of time on them if you can and a little bit of time here and there goes a long way and before you know it you've got finished quilts to show on the friday show so thank you for tuning in and be sure and subscribe if you haven't if you see the word subscribe anywhere on your screen right now please touch it and also the black bell and you'll never miss an episode i have episodes uh of a varying subject matter Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays of every week. So thank you again and I wish you well. Have a great one. We'll see you soon. Bye.